Having rescued Jeanette Burton from the Chamber of Serpents, Wong Tai has forced her against her will to accompany him to the subterranean treasure vault of Atea, White Queen of Tor. Led by the Shan of Rator and Paul Darno, the Ratorian army, moving rapidly through the jungle toward the walled city of Tor, is joined a short distance from their goal by Uka, who reports the death of Temur and Paul Tar. Meanwhile, following the killing of Mungo by Tarzan, Oruk, Kailuk, and the ape man have stealthily entered the jewel pits under cover of darkness in an attempt to free the pit slaves and lead them in an attack upon the palace. As Tarzan and his two friends creep past the shelter of the sleeping guardsmen toward the nearest slave shed, one of the yellow men awakens, sees them, and rouses his companions. Tarzan, O'Rourke, and Kailuk run for the slave shed, followed by the awakened Torian. Hurry, O'Rourke. Get that key and release the slaves. Oh, sure, and I'm doing just that. We'll be with you in a minute. The guards, yelling fiendishly, rush toward Tarzan and Kailuk, brandishing their heavy swords. Kailuk, grasping the sword he has taken from the wall of the Torian house, stands with his back to the wall of the slave shed awaiting the charge. A grim, savage smile twists his yellow lips into a snarl of hate. A short distance from him, legs spread, feet gripping the rocky ground, stands Tarzan. In his hands, the ape man grips the end of a ten-foot length of heavy chain, which he swings round his head in a great swift arc. Coolly, he watches the oncoming charge. Presently, as the guards come close, the great muscles of his arms and back swell into corded ridges of steel. He whirls the heavy chain once. Let's go! The impromptu weapon flashes through the air, whirling end for end, crashes into the leading guards, flattening several of them to the ground. Ah, oh, get out there, ye yellow devils! Get out there and fight! This slaves, Tarzan! Before the remaining guardsmen can gather themselves for a second charge, Tarzan leaps forward. Quickly, he snatches up from the ground the swords dropped by the Torians, knocked down by the whirling chain. Springing back beside Kailuk, he tosses the swords, all but one, behind him at the feet of the liberated slaves. Tell them to pick up those swords and follow us, Kailuk. Undaka Raturi, Undaka Turi, hoi! Tukwa Labani! Take some of the slaves, Kailuk. Get between the guards and the gate. Don't let them open it. Give no quarter unless they join us. Aruk Tarzan! Hoi! Atari! Awanga! Oh, oh, be gutty, Tarzan, my lad. You have them on the run now. The rest of the slaves. We haven't released them all. Oh, divil a bit. I got the one shed full out and stuck the key into the hands of one of the slaves. He's freeing the rest of them. I'm here to help you. Well, it's about all over. What's left of them have thrown down their arms. They'll be ready to come over to us. Sure, and it would be all over just when I'm putting on me fighting clothes. Don't worry, my friend. There'll be enough fighting to suit even you. It is finished, Tarzan of the Apes. We are in control of the pits. Rather than lose their lives, the guards have joined us. What now, friend? The palace. Arm the slaves with whatever they can find. When we open those gates, we're going to meet plenty of opposition. Oh, sure. And the noise we made must have aroused the venerable ancestors of all these heathen devils. Let's go, Tarzan. We are ready, Tarzan of the apes. Right. Open the gates. Come on, O'Rourke. Hi, Luke. Handaka, Tari. Handaka. Come on, Tari. Far beneath the palace of Tor in Atea's treasure cave, Jeanette Burton stands near the closed door of the vaulted, dimly lit cavern. Fearfully, she watches Wong Tai as he moves, oblivious to all but the vast treasure surrounding him, among the heaps of gold ingots and open caskets of precious and semi-precious stones. The flickering yellow light from two torches throws eerie, mysteriously creeping shadows upon walls and floor as the Chinese plunges avaricious hands first into one gleaming heap, then another. <laughs> ah, Jeanette, my dear, a treasure, a treasure. <laughs> a treasure such as a genie of Aladdin himself could not have produced. Oh, hurry, Dr. Wong, hurry. Let's get out of this place. Give me the creeps. Presently, presently. Look, these rubies. <laughs> Ah, like unfathomable blood-red eyes, glittering, inscrutable. <laughs> yeah, yeah, take them. They are yours. No, Dr. Wong, they're Atea's. I don't want them, and you should... Atea, 
a savage who has no idea of their value, then I will take them and whatever else I can. And sometime, sometime we will return to this... What was that? Listen. Nothing, my child. <laughs> you are permitting your imagination to get the better of you. We are alone. Alone with the ransom of a hundred kings at our feet. Oh, but, but what if we were to be caught in this place? <laughs> eh, nonsense. Who is there to find us? Up there? The entire palace sleeps. But I'm sure that someone followed us through those damn corridors. I... I felt their presence. Athea thinks you dead, my dear. Killed by her pet executioner in the chamber of serpents. Come, select what you like, and we will return to my chamber. I have all I can carry. No, I don't want any of it. I only want to get away from here as quickly as possible. Ah, by the shadow of the great image, it is an evil play of fate that one must leave such treasure to yellow-skinned savages. Oh, I'd give it all ten times over to be a thousand miles from here. Ah, well, the Pekin Wall has but one gate, though so many real roads lead to it. And once we are out of this city, it should not be impossible with the assistance of our guiding ancestors to find a road leading back to this treasure. Oh, how can you even think of returning... The chances are all against our even leaving Tor alive. Oh, Atea's hatred of us all, excepting, well, Tarzan, perhaps. It's so deep, so savage. Assuredly, my dear. But our immediate need is less to describe Atea's hatred in terms of classical analogy than to find a means of baffling its venom. Well, which we certainly can't down here in this creepy dungeon. Very well, my dear. We will return to my chamber where we may lay our problem before the spirits of our distinguished ancestors and with a fitting request for their assistance. Come. Great heavens! Tanya and Atea! Oh, Kala Danka! Panaluk! Well, my Wong Tai, it seems that the missing key to the treasure cave has been found. Or perhaps it has never been lost. The acumen of the illustrious daughter of Tor may be computed neither by rule nor by measure. Her perceptions are sharper than the sword of a Tai Ping. Is that all you have to say, my loyal Wang Tai? There are times, heaven-born, when the classical perfection of my venerable tongue is strangely inadequate to express emotion. And you, Janet Burton, how did you escape from the Chamber of Serpents? Wang Tai followed the guards. When they left, he opened the door. And where, Wang Tai, did you find the key to my treasure cave? He didn't find it, Atea. I did and gave it to him. At his suggestion, perhaps. My watchful Tanya saw you leave the quarters of Wang Tai together and followed you here. Well, so be it. You shall die together immediately in the fires of Tor. <laughs> Meanwhile, led by Tarzan, O'Rourke, and Kailuk, the horde of freed slaves armed with clubs, lengths of chain, and weapons taken from guards and warriors overpowered in the dark streets are moving grimly onward toward the palace. Faith, Tarzan, taking the palace will not be easy. Look, down there in the square, the yellow devils are gathering for instance, the main entrance and stairway. Keep to the side streets till we reach the square. Then a quick rush on the palace. Once inside, we can hold it against the warriors. If only Ukar and the lieutenant were here with the Ratorians. Ah, well, it will be a fine brawl as it is. What of Atea Tarzan of the Apes? What do you intend doing with her? We'll take her prisoner. Use her as a hostage for Jeanette. Faith, and why not hold the she-devil until we're all, slaves included, out of the city? <laughs> a fine traveling companion she'd make. Now, to capture the woman will be impossible, Tarzan. She can easily escape through any one of many secret passageways leading out of the palace. Well, we'll try anyway and hope for the best. Now what? There's an awful lot of yelling and commotion going on up there on the walls beyond the palace. Keep the slaves from rushing the square, Kailu, till we see what's going on. Antaluk! Atari! The Torians are forming their towers there before the palace and marching toward the walls. Only some of them. Plenty left to make it interesting for us. 
What is it, Kailuk? Our fun too, it is good news, friend. The Shan Rator and Uka have arrived. They are attacking at a distant part of the wall. Oh, big Gary, the saints be praised. Now we'll give these yellow devils a surprise of their lives. We'll take them front and rear. Come on, Tarzan, my lad. Wait. If it's Darno and Uka, they're expecting us to open the gates for them. Why would they begin their attack at some other part of the wall? Perhaps a sham attack, Tarzan, to lead the Torians away from the main gate? You're right. That would be Darno's tactics. Listen, Kailu. You lead the slaves. Get as close to the gates as you can from the south side. Then hit the Torians from the rear. Keep their attention from the gate if you can. And you, Tarzan? Don't worry about us. O'Rourke and I'll be there to open them. When you see the gates are open, make straight for the palace with your slaves. Don't let anything stop you. Understand? Aru, Tarzan. Hey, Atari! Tebani! Hau, Mahau! All right, O'Rourke. Come on. We'll reach the gate from the other side. Oh. Ah, the heathen devils have seen us. They're trying to head us off. Sure, and it's a fine job we've cut out for ourselves. It'll be a race. I'll take care of the gate. You go back with Kylo. Ah, just for that, I'd take a fall out of you myself. If I wasn't so sure you could lick me. Telling an old rock to stay out of it indeed. Ah, uh, save your breath. Run. Oh, it is a race you want here. Eh? I'm right with you. And the devil take the hindmost. Look out for them swords. <laughs> <laughs> 